Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. Uh, let's take a look as usual on the gold market. Well, uh, it seems that uh, on the gold market situation is gradually changing. And uh, in the last couple of sessions we have seen more activity, especially on the downside direction. And in general this action corresponds to uh, some fundamental and, and the sentiment issues that we have on the market. Uh, partially we have discussed uh, some, some issues of this uh, action that we see right now in the gold market. So let's continue to take a uh, view on, on some details that we have here. First of all, uh, as you can see, the shape of the triangle, that previously was the triangle here, you probably remember that, uh, has shifted to the most of some kind of a rectangle channel or better to say it's flag pattern, especially it could be seen on the uh, weekly chart. Uh, and this pattern will become the major figure, the major background of the of our analysis in the short term perspective. Why? Mostly due to the feature of the flag itself, because we know that the flag is the, mostly the continuation pattern, and that's why it suggests uh, upper action on the gold market, upper breakout of this pattern. But at, this, at the same time, we know that market stands first at the resistance. So the 1380 is the major level on the monthly chart. And second, we know uh, from the position of the sentiment analysis that uh, speculative long positions are overloaded. So market has very limited purchase power to support the upper direction. It means that with a high probability, market will show either failure upper breakout, that will become the bullish trap pattern, Following the classical uh, technical analysis, so it means that the market will breaks the bullish pattern to the upside as it should do, but later stops and drops again back inside of the inside of the body of this pattern. This, call, this calls as the bullish trap. If this will happen, or this is the first scenario, or market could show the direct downward breakout, just without no kind of action. And something of that sort. Uh, for the gold market, is a uh, former scenario is more typical. So gold market likes to show some fail or breakouts, washing rinses of the important tops and bottoms, and some something of that sort. This is very typical for the gold market. Uh, this is the first issue. The second issue that we have, and take a look at the swings inside of the flag. Right now, market stands in the fifth uh, swing. Uh, I will call it as the wave, but uh, this is not the wave in terms of the Elliott waves theory. This is just the number of uh, waves inside of the pattern. So you know that the mm, most of all, uh, very often, as a rule, it's better to say, uh, the breakout stands on the fifth wave. So now we have first wave inside, second, uh, sorry, first, second, third, fourth, and uh, fifth wave. So, and, the, and this wave is tending to the downside, okay? So, uh, this also suggests this possible downward breakout could happen. Finally, based on the pivot analysis, pivot point analysis, take a look what has happened. Market has moved about the monthly pivot point, has tested the monthly pivot resistance one, and dropped lower. It means that market wasn't able to break through monthly pivot resistance one. NOS also was the upper border of this pen, uh, pattern. It means that this action to the upside is not the new bull trend. This is just retracement inside of some bear trend since monthly pivot resistance one holds upward action. Usually when the market stands in the new trend or in the existing trend, it breaks for the pivot resistances. As soon as this hasn't happened, it means that we are not on a new bull trend. This is mostly retracement up. And it means that this bounce mostly was the technical as a result of reaching strong confidence support on the daily chart 
1290-1308 Confluence and the agreement. This is, you can see, target of this A, B, C top, 100% extension target. So that, the nature of this bounce is more technical rather than sentimental. So if, if the background was the sentiment, in this case, that was probably this become the new trend market broken up. But it means that sentiment stands the same and investors looks like not really ready or not stand on an idea of a possible new bull trend. Uh, as the major levels had been broken yet, they still keep long positions on the hands, but there's no ability to buy more. And uh, as soon as market will trigger the major, some, some important levels, maybe if it will break down through the 13 even, and as soon as investors will start to take profit on their positions, uh, because the upside potential of the current year is very significant. So as market has uh, uh, increased for 26%, so it's very, very significant uh, level for portfolios of the investors of the funds, so it's very good uh, yield. That's why they, they and, and you, you understand that the end of the financial year is very close. So they could start to, to fix the profit, especially on the anticipation of the rate hiking and the hawkish rhetoric from the Fed on the coming meeting in September. That's why we probably could say that as technical as sentimentally, market mostly is tending and gravitating to some downward action here. That's why we see that this action is really bearish and probably this is not just some minor drop of this way up. So on the hourly chart, guys, what we will do on the coming week. On the hourly chart, as you can see, market has confirmed our suggestion that we have made on Friday. So as we have seen this significant acceleration down, we said that probably market will drop further. That means at least to the 1618 target of, the, of our A, B, C top pattern. It's 1618. Indeed, this has happened. That was also the confidence support, if you remember. As you can see, market has shown minor bounce here and continuum of down. It means that as market already has passed through all extensions, all targets from the minor pattern, we need to increase the scale. Right now, we will treat this action, whole action down, as the single leg. And as market is approaching some support, so you can see 50% support, 618, it's also monthly pivot points, consolidation here, uh, here also some kind of the consolidation. So it means that market could show some upward bounce. This bounce probably will become this BC leg. So in perspective, we should get some kind of the large ABCD patient to the downside or some extension down. Uh, that's what we'll be watching for in coming week. So that being said, as soon as this leg will stop, we will be watching for upward retracement. If we will get some good uh, sell signal or something of that sort, we could try to take the short position, downward, downward continuation, if the sentiment will not change on the market because this section is really as you can see fast acceleration down very small retracements here it's really very significant action and uh, take a look on the daily chart this action down almost has erased the ISM for candle here that has happened on Friday last week as you can see very significant action maybe we could treat this even the three three crowds or something that's sort of very rare bearish pattern candlestick pattern in the market um, maybe this will be, they will become so. So that's our current view on the gold market. So now mostly we see that, uh, gold market has more, uh, bearish signs in the short term, in the short term charts. So let's see what will happen.